Shut up and sit down. Hey guys, this is Melissa. Today I'm filming a what's in my purse video. This is my purse. It's a Michael Kors bag and it's gray. I'm not the kind of person that really changes purses around a lot. My husband got me this purse. It's actually a funny story. We went to Fuddruckers and they had like one of those machines where you can put money in and win an item and they had this purse in it and I had never seen it before and I just saw it and I was just like, oh my god, I love that purse. It's beautiful. I had a black leather coach bag and I just wanted to switch it out. And so I saw that purse and I was just hellbent on getting it. So I YouTubed, you know, tricks on how to win items from those machines. And it's basically kind of rigged. It's just dependent upon the amount of money that's gone into the machine. I just looked for it on eBay and my husband actually surprised me and he bought it for me. I hadn't purchased it yet. He did it himself. So that's the story of this bag. It has this pocket in the front and one big pocket on the side. I mean, on the top, I should say and then two small pockets here on the side and it's leather and it has this strap here so you can wear it like this or you can wear it like this usually my favorite way to wear the bags is around my elbow uh, but sometimes when i'm just tired or lazy having the strap is really convenient too so Let's go ahead and get inside. I don't use it too often because I have my son who's nine months and I usually use the baby bag. But if I'm going to go out without him, I just grab my purse and I go. So And I make sure my wallet's in there. So here in this front pocket, I always put my cell phone and my screen is cracked. My son dropped it. But anyway, it's fine. I'll get the screen fixed pretty soon. I have this case on it that I got from the Disney store. She Minnie Mouse blinks and I love it. Super cute. I love Minnie Mouse. Um, on the side I have, I don't know how to say this, Seiche Vite fast drying top coat. When I went to get my nails done I asked them to use this top coat because it helps the nails dry really fast, faster than what they use at the nail salon. Um, here on this side it's empty, there's nothing in there. And on the inside, I'll just take things out, I have a makeup case that my husband got for me um, for Christmas, and it's Mickey Mouse, Studio and Burke. Super cute. Um, I'm obsessed with all things Disney. So it's like a comic book strips in black and white. It's leather, and it has this little black detailing in the corners. Um, I love this mirror. I got this. Let me put my purse down for a second. I got this mirror at Bed Bath & Beyond, I believe it was, a few years ago. And it is zebra print and it's got little stones on it. And you just open it up and it's a double mirror with like the zoom side and the regular side. So oh, that's that. I have a L'Oreal Ferris Nude number 800 nude lipstick. It's been one of my, this is one of my favorite nude lipsticks and has been for like many years. I recently bought this. It's an EOS hand cream, the pink one. I got this at Target. I have a chapstick because my lips get really chapped and sometimes they crack and bleed and it's really gross. I have Island Nectar Pocket Back Antibacterial Hand Gel, gel, excuse me. Um, from Bath and Body Works. I have a NYX Butter Lip Balm. Then I bought this for Mother's Day. Was it Mother's Day? Yeah, I went on a sh makeup shopping spree for Mother's Day, I think it was. And I bought a bunch of high-end items and this was one of the things I purchased. It's a lip oil. Again, I suffer from really, really dry lips. So I thought this would be like a fun splurge. To be honest, I don't see the big deal with this. I don't feel like it really does anything for me. It's like momentarily hydrating with oil, but then in like a little bit, it just, you eat it and it disappears and it doesn't really do anything for your lips. So it's the YSL Tinted Lip Oil. It's the one with like a pinkish purple uh, thing, thing-a-thing thing. thing. I bought this recently. This is a Sassy Bob 
463 Revlon lip color. I thought this would be fun for fall. And I really like it. It's cute. I don't have a lot of colors like this. I don't have like a huge extensive makeup collection. I just have like the necessities and I've historically always just worn either a nude lipstick with gloss or red lipstick. And so I wanted to switch it up and get something mauve or mauve. And uh, I thought this was a good one and it's really hydrating. I like it a lot. And then to go along with the dry thing situation, Baby Lips Doctor Rescue and another chapstick. I guess I'll sit up there just for now. There you go. I have some papers. This is not going to be too interesting. An appointment reminder for my dentist. This is a bill, a random bill that came like six months after I had my son. I got a random bill in the mail from the neonatologist. The doctor, the first doctor to see the baby after the baby's born. Oh, this is what I was looking for and it wasn't in my bag. I bought this a while back. I don't know when I bought this, but I really like it. It's a lip gloss from Hard Candy. It's gloss a holic lip gloss in confection. And it's just a pink lip gloss. So I want to put some of this on because I forgot to put it on. I like it. I mean, I'm not like super crazy picky when it comes to makeup, so um, I, it doesn't bother me. This is the little thing a thing thing <laughs> that you put the camera in, that you put the digital camera in. It came in the box, and so I put the digital camera inside this and then inside the other thing. I can't think today. This is crazy. Okay. I have a 2015 weekly calendar planner. I don't remember, I think I bought this at Target a while back before my son was born. And I was gonna use it to write down like the amount of soiled diapers he had and how many ounces he drank, but I forgot that I had this. I wrote it somewhere else. So technically, or not technically, literally, it's empty. It has nothing written in it at all whatsoever. <laughs> But that's in my purse. I have all the books that came with my camera that I'm using currently. My birthday was September 8th, so my husband gave me that camera as a present because he knew I wanted to start filming videos and vlogs. So I have like all the little books that came with it that I still need to read through. I'll do that soon, baby. I have this little coin purse type thing and it's baby blue with some really pretty detailing. One of my former co-workers gave this to me when she went on a trip to Italy. I don't have anything in it yet. I was going to put coins in it, but it's in there. So that's that. It's really pretty, really intricate, really beautiful. I have my Dooney and Burke wallet. The obsession is real. I got this for Christmas last year from my husband. And there's really nothing all that interesting in here to show you. It's just my my cards, my license. I have a dollar and then like some random stuff. Oh look, I have, this is kind of fun, a Sephora VIB card. When I told my sister I had that, she's like, yo, you have thrown down in Sephora if you have that. And I said, it was for Mother's Day. It was a Mother's Day present. Yeah. Do I have anything else that's interesting? Triple A, baby's... Baby's R Us Rewards card, what else, BJ's membership card, extra care from CVS, thing here in the center for coins, and then the cards are on the side, are you able to see that? The cards are on the side and I just throw the cash right there, and that's my wallet, here's a up close situation for you. You'll see Mickey and the ice cream, Chip and Dale, right? Is that the name? Yeah. Tinkerbell, the rose, the castle, the Shesha cat. There we go. And Molten. Something that's been happening to me recently is that I struggle, I, I suffer from headaches more often. It didn't happen to me all that much before I was pregnant, but for some reason I get headaches and just aches and pains and all that a bit often, so I have Moultrin in my purse. This probably is not necessary. Moultrin. 
not necessary to zoom. Oh, I really like this and I, I watch a lot of beauty gurus on YouTube and I don't really see anybody talk about this. So anyway, it's the L'Oreal, it's kind of dirty. It is L'Oreal Infallible Lip Color. It's in number 500 Thistle. It's a lip stain. I've been using this for years and years and years. The color's on one side. It pops open like this does. You screw it out. You put on the lipstick and then you get this one, which is like the balm, and you put the balm on top because the lipstick or the lip stain, it is really drying, definitely. But I really don't mind that because I'm the kind of person that like, I want to put on my makeup first thing in the morning and not have to worry about reapplying, especially when I was working. I didn't have time to like stop in the middle of the day and reapply. And then I'm not in the habit of like constantly looking in, in a mirror. So sometimes I forget. So when I saw that they had these things in the drugstore, I, I really liked them. And the red one is great too because red lipstick gets on your teeth. So I usually buy the red in this and it doesn't transfer onto my teeth, it doesn't transfer onto anything else, you know, which pretty much just stays there. You do have to reapply the chapstick, the balm part, from time to time because your lips will get kind of dry. But it's nothing, like you won't forget to do that because you'll feel your lips a little dry and you'll put the balm back on and you're fine. And it has a mirror right on the packaging. So you'll be able to like check your situation and reapply as needed so pardon that it's kind of gross and dirty but that's what this is that's the color the balm and I have another another I have another dollar 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 bills y'all then this thing I always forget is in here and it's really cute I bought this in Disney World and it's like a purse holding apparatus when you go out to eat, you put this on the table and then you hang your purse from it so you don't have to like place your purse on the floor or you know put it on a chair if there aren't any chairs available and it's a little Minnie Mouse bow. So check it out, super cute. Little Minnie Mouse bow. But you can turn it like this and it lays flat and then you turn it like this and you can put it on the table. I have a McDonald's Minion minion mania thing from when i ate mcdonald's once a while back i have <laughs> i have a multivitamin which i'm gonna have to throw that away because that's pretty gross let's put that there and i have 30 cents just hanging out big money 30 cents okay now i have these two little pockets here on the back or in the back rather so Let's see what's in there. I have more pills. I have my doll for when it's that time of the month. And I have Benadryl because I've had a lot of allergies lately. And on the other pocket, there's nothing in the other pocket. In the big zippy pocket, I have another Minions thing. I have a piece of paper with gum inside of it. And then I have a lady product situation. Fun times. And, oh, there's two more pockets on, that, on the other side. You know where like, the big zippered pocket is? There's two small pockets there too. And I think they're empty. Yeah, there's nothing in there. So that's it. Oh, no, wait. Oh, yeah, I showed you this already. So that's it. That's everything that's in my purse from the front to the middle, sides, these sides. That's everything that's in my purse. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please click the thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'll see you again soon. Bye. Peace out. Can you guys do this? Can you know? I got a dollar. I got a dollar. I got a dollar. Hey, 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 hey. Check it out, everybody. It's the post-filming madness. They filmed today, and this is Baby Joey. He just woke up from a nap. Right, Baby Joey? You wanna say hi? No? You wanna say bye? No. Bye, guys.